Hey everybody, it's Trent here from the Online Income Lab and in this video I'm going to share with you a couple of the different ways that I use to find ideas for seed keywords. So in case you don't know what that term means, a seed keyword is kind of where your search for a keyword begins, but it rarely ends. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for example, when you're starting keyword research, are you going to start researching dog training? Are you going to research weight loss or how to get a date? All of those uh, begin with a seed keyword. So kind of my favorite way, uh, it's not the only way I'm going to show you, I think six or seven different ways here, and by no means is it limited to six or seven different ways. But my favorite way, if, you, if you're just getting started, um, is I like to go to Google, and there's a couple of things that I'll type in Google. Typically, I'll start off with how to, and then I'll just start punching in letters. And you can see Google Instant is automatically popping up suggestions for me. How to tie a tie, how to take a screenshot, how to hard boil eggs. But if you don't like any of those, you could just type in the letter D. And that's going to give you how to draw. How to download, how to delete, how to this, how to that. Maybe we're going to put a word, the letter E after that. So how to is a great one. Um, get rid of is another excellent one. Um, you could try eliminate. Eliminate it helps if I know how to spell. Uh, eliminate allergies, ants, acne, anxiety, belly fat, bed bugs, blackheads, cellulite, you get the idea. So this is probably my favorite way. Now there's also a little thing called the Google, Google Wonder Wheel. So if we went back to here and say, uh, let's try eliminate cellulite just for an example. You could go over to the Wonder Wheel and you find that down here under um, Extra Search Tools and just paste it in. And now you're going to get a little Wonder Wheel here. Knee cellulite, naturally, best way, diet, reduce. And then you can click on any one of these and it will give you a whole bunch more potential seed keywords. Another great way is you can go to Amazon and pick a category that you like. So let's say that you're into um, summer's coming, patio and lawn and garden. And now you can sort by best sellers. Um, you've got all sorts of seed keywords there. You could go back to where we just were. I think you're organized by categories. So again, plenty of stimulus for uh, places for you to look for keywords. Another area is eBay Pulse. So this shows the most popular searches on eBay. And so you, then you can click on any one of these and it will take you down a level. And you can start to look at the products that are for sale and see if that gives you some ideas. Just go back to that first page here. Um, and then you can also browse by category. So if you were into, oh, I don't know. Let's stick with the home and garden theme. Home and garden, page will refresh. And so these are the top 10 most popular searches within home and garden. If you wanted to dive a level deeper, you could look into tools. And then these are the most popular searches within tools. So again, plenty more seed keyword ideas there. Google Trends gives you some hot searches right here. Any one of those could be a seed, seed keyword idea. You can go into more hot searches. Um, any one of these you might want to put into the Wonder Wheel. You might want to just start typing for example, uh, let's pick one of these. Mm, oh, I don't know, Amber Portwood. So we could go back here and just type in Amber Portwood, pregnant tattoo, pregnant again, Twitter, 
there's any number of, I don't think Amber Portwood is a great example, but my point is um, you can take data from the trends here. And if you want to see the trend, of course, you can just type the information in there. Another great place is you can go to Flippa, which is a market for buying and selling websites. You can look at websites for sale and then you can sort by the number of bids. So websites that have lots of bids might have great keyword ideas for you. So for example, you know, I, I wouldn't have thought of probably checking out the recruiting niche. So maybe I'd want to go back here and type in recruiting. And now I've got all sorts of ideas, recruiting A, recruiting B, recruiting C. I think you get the idea. Um, and then, of course, you could, if you're using SE Cockpit, you would be able to um, come and put those seed keyword ideas into SE Cockpit, which I have shown how this tool works in a previous video, and I'll put a link to that underneath this video, but this is an absolutely killer tool. Um, but like I said, I've already done a whole video on it, so I'm not gonna get into it again here. Okay, so hopefully this video has given you some uh, strategies and some tactics that you can use to get your brain jump started and you can find some seed keyword ideas. If you want to see more videos like this and you're watching this on YouTube, head over to the onlineincomelab.com where you will find a plethora or maybe even a cornucopia of, uh, boy those are nerdy words, of information on how to make money online including free videos, free podcasts, tons of blog posts, and also a link to my membership site, Niche Site Mastery, where I go into even more detail on uh, training you on how to make money online. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is Trent Deersmith from the Online Income Lab, and I look forward to seeing your comments.